I'm John Rexroad. I'm the netting guy. And when I'm not climbing a building or building some great structure in an amusement park, I've got wood. You wanna see what I do with the wood? I create magical things like my toolbox. This magic moment. So a lot of people are familiar with the famous toolbox that Studley built. I'm inspired by that and I wanted to make something of the same thing. I've been collecting tools and using tools for most of my life. I collect vintage tools, but I collect um, new tools as well. First off, I wanted everything within reach, getting things within my reach that I can use and I can look at them and I can enjoy them. I love secret compartments and all kinds of other details. I can have part of me in the tool chest. And I know a lot of other woodworkers and other people that like to work with their hands enjoy the same types of things. So I enjoy showing this to you. In everything, I have drawers. In the drawers, I can keep all the extra tools that I have. I have my drafting tools in here. I have my files. The drawers were a lot of fun for me. First thing I did is I found these knobs. I found these knobs that really inspired me. And what they are is they're part of a guitar for holding in the guitar strings. And then I was able to do this um, hand cut dovetail work for all the drawers, which to me gives it another piece of beauty and interest and shows that it's handmade. When I designed the tool chest, I was aware that it needed to have some stability to it. So I decided to do these little drawers in that long slot that you see. The reason for that was to do sliding dovetail work, tying back in so it kept the case nice and square and gave some strength on the hinge side. Small drawers are all made to be practical. Like for this example, this one holds my small files. And I lined all of my tools and all my drawers with leather. I thought something that I was durable, soft, and could clean, you can clean it with saddle soap, and I wanted it to be sort of special, like everything that I do. But these pull-out compartments took some thinking and made me try to think what exactly I could use a pull-out compartment for. So in this pull-out compartment, I used it for several of my tools, but one of the most challenging tools I had fitting into the chest was my long square. So right here, I'm able to get the full square, 24-inch square, into the tool cabinet. Easy to grab, easy to use, easy to work with. Inside of it, I have my tools on the outside and inside of it at easy reach, I have things like my screwdrivers and my wood chisels and um, every other thing I can use. All my planes are within reach. All I have to do is reach and grab them. One thing I kept telling my friend Catherine Kennedy is I wanted every surface engraved that possible. I told her I wanted it engraved inside of a plane. So here's an example of one of the planes that she did for me in conjunction with Ron Bisi, who's a custom plane maker out of Georgia. Catherine Kennedy is quite an incredible graver, if you ask me. She does some fabulous work. So Catherine could engrave every single surface within the plane. I said I didn't care if I could see it when the plane was together or if it had to come apart to see it all. So for example, when I take the sole of the plane out, when I take the tool out, I want to be able to see engraving on the inside and I want to see it all over. So even down to my carving mallets, I have them engraved and I actually use my tools. Shock there. This tool chest says a lot about me. I collect scrimshaw and a lot of other things. I love inlay and I love figured wood. So I used burl, and I didn't use any veneers in this cabinet. I used all figured woods. But what I ended up doing was I laminated a thick, about a quarter inch piece of burl, and I laminated that to some mahogany. And then now I have a nice stable door front. I made trim to go around everything so that I had something nice to work with. I have more carving tools on this side, and I have more carving tools again here. Again, all my wood planes and everything is within reach. My punches, my lined markers, even my drills are easy to find. The tools didn't necessarily need to be special, but they needed to be special to me. Like for example, these scissors are some scissors my wife and I bought during a trip to Spain chaperoning a high school. This is just something I'd picked up at one of my home improvement stores, put it in the artful hands of my friend, Catherine Kennedy, and it just makes it something extra special to use. I think it's important that when you use things, you take care of them, but also you enjoy them and they feel good in your hand and they remind you of what you're doing and the quality and integrity that you bring to any project. What I did to support the weight is I just took an old wooden block plane that I have and I mounted it to the wall. It gave me this nice platform to be able to open up the cabinet onto. So when it's closed, it just looks like a decorative plane 
um, sitting on the wall. I enjoy looking at it, but really it has a second purpose and the purpose is to support this end of the cabinet. Each half of the cabinet weighs 85 pounds, so we're talking about a lot of weight, and that's without the tools. I haven't weighed the tools, so who knows what the tools are? Maybe you have a guess.